Well, this is about to sound louder. Yeah. Were you nervous? Always. All right, here we go. First startup. Mopar fam I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there as you can see we got project storm up on the lift and it is long tube header day we're gonna be installing the new Texas speed performance long tube headers with the two inch primaries on project storm this is a 4x4 truck and we are gonna finally see how well these headers fit what they look like and what they sound like but we're going to be running the truck on the long tubes by themselves was without exhaust right now um, as we're going to be taking the truck up to troy's muffler shop up in south carolina and he's going to be doing a full custom exhaust system three inch piping with an x pipe and his carnage performance mufflers um, so for the time being after we get these headers on we're going to do an open header start on the new two inch primary headers from texas speed so stay tuned, we're gonna get these things installed and go over everything we had to do. So hopefully it's a pretty clean and easy installation. Let's get to it. All right, so first up thing, we got the tires off. We got the fender liners out on both sides of the truck. And currently we're trying to get the O2 sensors out of the exhaust pipe real quick. Um, my son is over here on the passenger side, getting her done starting to get some stock header bolts removed off of the passenger side and we got the good old Ryan Walton over here and we are trying to get this side going off we're trying to get the uh, O2 sensors out real quick some of the easy stuff and then we got to drop the exhaust and then we will get on to more important things so that's the first thing we got to do but, oh, look at that Torque Storm Supercharger. <whistles> yeah. All right, let's get some long tubes put on. All right, guys, so we have the dipstick in, and it kind of looks like that right there. Kind of hard to see it. It's blending in. Um, but it is a little bit lower than normal, um, but still easy to get to, and we didn't have to bend it very much. Um, it fit pretty well. It actually did, I think, a better job of fitting than my JBAs did. I had to bend my dipstick quite a few different angles to make it work. Um, but here's the stick you can see right here. And the stick rides on the outside towards the driver's side on the outside of the steering shaft um, right here pretty much by the shock tower and then it goes all the way underneath the long tubes um, so it doesn't fit through any of the tubes it actually goes all the way under the long tube and then kind of loops up and then down into the engine block um, that's how it's pretty much fitting and you can see we kind of bent the top bracket a little bit to bolt to the valve cover and we just found a another valve we just ended up finding a standard bolt um, to put in place of the factory bolt for that location right here um, to mount the dipstick bracket right here so we're only using the upper bracket the lower bracket for the dipstick we are not using we pretty much cut that one off um, so we are not using that bracket we're only using the upper bracket but the dipstick works, the factory dipstick fits in there very easily. Not a whole lot of fabrication needed um, to make it work. And uh, yeah, there you go. Ram 4x4, 2 inch primaries, 
Texas Speed long tubes. So now that we got the dipstick figured out, we are going to proceed with getting this thing buttoned up and getting them both installed. So here we go. All right guys, so we are over here at the passenger side. Just kind of give you a little tip if it's your first time trying to do these long tubes or headers on a ram. If you get two of your bolts on the bottom, go ahead and put two bolts through the gasket and just let the gasket sit there and hang. And if you have somebody to help you, they can kind of hold up this gasket while you set the, the header or the long tube in and hook it onto the bottom of the bolts as the long tube both of the long tubes, as you can see right here, has little slots to build a hang bolt to. And, and this is not a necessity. You don't have to do this. As you can see, we have a little bit of, um, we're actually using Honda Bond, but ultra gray something, some silicone around the long tube and on the engine block side of the gasket. We already put it on the back of the gasket. Not, and it's not exactly a necessity, but with all the long tubes I've done, and a lot of racers will tell you, it helps tremendously with leaks. Anytime I have ever applied a little bit of RTV to my heads and my long tubes on my rams, or even back in the day when I had some Fords, Mustangs, whatever, I never had any leaks whatsoever. Um, the times I never used the RTV, I'd end up with some leaks eventually. But Frostbite is done the same way with a little bit of silicone on the, in, on the uh, cylinder head side and on the long tube side. And I never have ever had any ticks, leaks, or anything. Um, just something I do. You don't have to do it, but I do. Just a little tip. Um, definitely helps. You ain't got to put a bunch on there, but just a little bit will ensure that you do not have any leaks. Driver side long tube, we already got it hung up. All the bolts are in it. We're just tightening them down right now. Um, gonna have to use a handful of different tools. You, you have to probably just use mostly a wrench, a gear wrench. As when you have long tubes, sometimes it's hard to get a actual socket and ratchet on them. Some of them you will be able to, but for the most part, you're gonna have, you're gonna have to go at it with a wrench. And this is when I need to raise it up. And this is uh, underneath the truck. We're gonna look up here. That's what the driver's side is looking like so far underneath. The long tube, this Texas Speed long tube is really nice. It flows with the frame rail pretty well right here. Nice and level. It's going to be very easy to build a run exhaust to it. It's going to be pretty sweet, guys. Um, again, these things are fitting very, very well. So it's time to put the passenger side in. Let's get her done. All right, I'm gonna let you get the header and go in there and hang it. All right, we're gonna let old Clayton, my boy right here, hang the uh, passenger header. So if you go under the truck, I'm gonna manipulate this gasket for you. Let's see if he can figure it out. This is gonna be the first time right here. Let's see if he can get this header in there. You gotta hook the bottom on first once you get it in there. I'm trying to go up, find the bolts. Hooked on this side. All right. Should be hung on there now. Yep, she's hung on the bottom two studs. This is the driver's side. You see those tubes in there pretty well. Underneath, collector right here. Two inch primaries. Uh, 
like I said, they fit very well, guys. I was really, really impressed with how well they fit. Super, super awesome. I mean, look at all the clearance you got between the brake lines, the frame, and the long tubes themselves. Plenty of room up here. All we had to do is modify the dipstick tube, passenger side. Fits really well. O2 sensors work out very well. You do need uh, the two O2 sensor extension adapters, but other than that, passenger side, as you can see, whoops, fits up there very well. Underneath the truck here, I mean, that is, that's definitely sick. Storm's about to definitely make some noise. Passenger side. I really like how this drops down right here under the frame where you can see it. That is definitely sick right there. Can't miss the tubes up there either. Again, I'm stoked, man. These, these headers really fit well. For being two inch tubes, they fit a lot better than I thought. Watch out here, be like, what the? Well, if they didn't do that with this truck, then you can do that with one. Well, this is about to sound louder. Yeah. Were you nervous? Always. All right, here we go. First startup. Wow, like that just like entirely about blew the building's roof off, dude. That was insane. Woo, man, I can't wait to actually hear the, the real exhaust that's about to go on here. It's gonna sound insane. It's gonna sound good. Two inch tubes, two inch primaries. On the boosted Torque Storm supercharged daily right here baby oh yeah oh yeah oh god here we go
All right, so we got the long tubes on Project Storm, as you know. This is all the junk we cut off of it. All the old exhaust. Granted, it wasn't stock exhaust, but it still had the factory junk logs right here. Those are absolute junk. No more flow masters. All this stuff going to the trash heap. And we will be putting on the Carnage full dual exhaust system. So stay tuned. That's going to sound awesome. All right, guys, that's it. Got the headers on. We're done. Everything went very good. Like I said, they fit very nice. I am really, really, really impressed with the Texas Speed long tubes. They fit much better than I anticipated having two inch primaries. As a lot of the other headers, like my JBAs that I put on Frostbite, you know, I had to bend brake lines out of the way. Um, a lot of things are really close, but those things fit really, really well. And this is a 2012 Ram 1500 4x4. And again, fit very nice. All in all, you can pretty much do this in your driveway. Uh, myself, Ryan, my son, we did this in about six hours. And that's counting, you know, goofing off a lot, going and grabbing something to eat and bringing it back. Dedicate yourself about a full day and you should be able to knock this out in the driveway at home. We didn't really have a bunch of special tools. Now we did have a lift. Um, you know, we have access to a lift that does make it very nice. But if you got some jack stands, a jack, hand tools, we mostly used hand tools on this and a couple of battery operated tools like from Milwaukee. But other than that, nothing fancy. Um, you can do this in the driveway. Next thing on Storm will be the custom Carnage exhaust. So stay tuned. That'll be the next video you will see for Storm. It's going to sound badass. I can't wait. I will say probably within the next couple weeks, you should see that video drop. So stay tuned. As always, stay safe out there. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. Put a comment down below what you think of these new Texas Speed headers so far. And we'll see you on the next one.